FAQ. What is going to happen to the private corporations and businesses of people? Here I'm going to remind all of you that has got businesses and that went into business for profit and that came up with all kinds of ideas to sell to everybody, that you must go back through your process of decision making and how you justified your position. You had in that design a point where you claimed that what you did is for the best of all and that you are doing it to help humanity and to make the world a better place. But you use that in context of making profit. Now unfortunately for you we will call on that part of your decision making process when we get to an equal money system and we will remind you through self-honesty that you in fact did have that thought that you in fact did make those statements somewhere in your life and that now we are calling on you to produce and to honor your word and therefore what you have created that that be an act of love and belong to all and be distributed equally you will be part of a system that is best for all, therefore you will not lack. All you will lose is your ability to be greedy. And you'll still have sufficient. And what is a wonderful thing is you will no longer have to misrepresent yourself and you will no longer have to create all kinds of advertisings and presentations to convince people to buy your brand. Because brands will no longer exist in an equal money system. You will, in fact, be free to explore what you truly love and may even invent more cool shit to share with everyone. You'll have time for your family and your kids will start to love you because you'll spend some time at home. But in essence, corporations, businesses eventually will become part of the global logistical system for the distribution and support of all equally. And only those parts will be left in service that is relevant to this distribution and that is critical for logistics. The rest will be turned either into some form of entertainment as buildings or into homes where people can stay if the basic income grant has not yet solved the housing crisis around the world. So, obviously this will be part of a decision making that will involve everyone, even you as corporate member or business owner or professional. It doesn't matter who you are, you will be part of the decision and your fears, if you have any, will be considered. And we will have a look whether your fears are more important than what is best for all. Because obviously then there's a psychological problem. So I would not just go around and spread fear. I would consider that by virtue of a system that was unequal, I have profited at the expense of others. And I have protected my profit at the expense of others, which was an act of greed and in fact is a criminal act currently. So being wealthy is by no means a valuable or an acceptable situation. Join us at Destiny.